Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got us an electronic Smith Corona H series DX4000, but of course, Smith Corona was a king of marketing and they have literally hundreds of models that are really all the same machine. So if you look at the back of this, all these models here are really an H series machine. They're all the same, all the same. They might have different features or a little different look, but they are all the same machines. They made a lot of them, and this is not all of them. There's a lot more models than that, and they're all basically this typewriter. Some didn't have a display, some don't have bold and things like that, some don't have memory, this has memory. You know, different ones. Well, this one's got a problem. And it jams up. So I'm going to turn it on here. And it's right here. And see what happens here. Let me turn the stereo down here. And it's not, not happy. So first thing you need to do when... Uh, it jams up is just make sure the carrier moves freely with the machine off. And it actually felt like it stuck over there, but so it should move back and forth freely. Then check over here for an obstruction and look at that. Right where my finger's pointing is an obstruction, so it's not making it all the way over, so it can't start, can't reset. And it kind of gets stuck over there when it's so there's something down here, a foreign object. And there it is. What is this thing? Just a piece of plastic? No. I know what that is. Underneath this ribbon is the correction ribbon area. And, uh, well, there it is. See, there's a spool on this side. It's supposed to have a spool over here. This one, in fact, should fit right in here. And it doesn't want to, oh, there it goes. But it also comes right back out. Look at that. So, I have already investigated this, and it's got a broken plastic clip. It should have a clip right here, right there where that gap is. So, I found another one, and it's got a good clip. There's the clip right there, right there at my thumb. And, uh, this should just snap back on there. It's got a little paw that goes around it right there. We should be able to get this on by just pushing it down. Pull this paw out of the way. Snap it down. And that one stays in there. So that's good. So that's the correction ribbon portion of the machine. So that's probably fixed. In fact, we can go ahead and throw a correction ribbon in here. Snap that in. Make sure it's in there properly. There we go. Snap it in. Ratchet it tight with this little red ratchet over here, and that's ready to go. So it probably will start now. But nope. Okay. It says lid or ribbons in the screen there. It's got a screen that's going to say lid or ribbons. If it doesn't have a screen, it's going to flash this lock light right here. It's going to flash. That means that this particular model needs to have a ribbon installed. So, turn the machine off, move this over, and a ribbon's got to be in there. There's a little sensor right here that this little tab hits and pushes that down right you get a tool here pushes this piece down right there right, oh, right here it is the contact point is there but the button is right here and when you put a ribbon on there now the machine knows it's ready to go and it will start up and it's ready to type so when you open the lid, it should move back over here, so you can get around this. It moves automatically, so you can change the ribbon. There's also some aftermarket ribbons 
like these non Smith Corona brand that don't have the same bottom as these original brand ribbons. So it's got this little hokey mechanism here that flops and doesn't always engage the sensor. So there is a way to bypass the sensor. And I'm going to go ahead and give it away right now. Let's turn the machine off. Let's zoom on down here. Close, 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 close. And this is what you can do. There's a little spring that holds the switch, keeps it from keeps it springing up. That spring is right there. There's a little tiny spring right there. If you disconnect that spring, the switch will think that it'll think the ribbon's in there all the time. So you can just remove this spring, just pull it right on out of there. It's gonna yank it out of the bracket on the other side. Just yank it, yank it on out of there. It goes. So there it is, no longer in the machine, throw it away. Now that switch is down all the time, so it thinks the ribbon is in the machine. So now, you have to close the lid on this model, turn it on, and it's going to think the, the ribbon's in there, and it's going to start up just fine. And it's going to tighten, but there's no ribbon. So that's one way to bypass this, so you can use it without a ribbon or you can use it with an aftermarket ribbon without any trouble but we like to use original Smith Corona ribbons they do work the best so that's our little uh, repair of the correction ribbon repair binding over here when there's obstructions in here like a pin or something else in there so it can make it all the way over and that's it let's turn this thing on and see how it types real quick done with this video. Let's pull this paper through here. And this should work. Let's give it a try. It's light down here. This ribbon is dried out. Got to type on it a little bit. And it's starting to come around. I think it's, I think it's a bad ribbon. How bad that's that's printing. It started printing a little better, but it's bad. They do go bad. This one is probably just old. Bad. Let me uh, just throw another one in there just for uh, just to uh, test it. So these come different ways but we got a big box for one of them. H series ribbons. And the best. Take the cap off. And we'll just stick it in there real quick. It should be just fine dandy. Open the lid. Go over here. Drop the ribbon in there. This ribbon is pretty easy. You just kind of line it up and push it down and close the lid. Let's take a look and see how, see how this one works. Oh, yeah, it's like night and day. That's quite a bit of a difference here between that that business there at the best and then a regular ribbon and then of course correction works pretty simple on this you just uh, type and if you make a mistake you take correction it fixes it this machine is kind of neat it's got memory bank over here so if you switch this to memory comes in here and it says file one through eight let's try number one here so we'll press number one so now it's in memory mode it wants you to store something so we're going to type in the screen here it just types in the screen the time. You hit return it prints it well, I guess it doesn't print it 
I guess it's just going to store it. Spell check there. So we got three lines in there, and we can just turn the machine out of memory back to memory. And it's going to say file number, and there's a little cursor underneath the file number there. Number one, so press number one. And it asks you if you want to print, edit, or erase. We want to print, so we. I think we just hit return. That's it. The way it goes. So, what you would do if it's file number one hit number one, and if you wanted to edit or erase, you would press the space bar, move the cursor under whatever function you wanted to do. Print. And then all you got to do for print is hit the return over here, and it will print out what you put in the memory there. Automatic. Alright, that's our little uh, demo of the Smith Cron Electronic. And this happens to be a DX4000. There are quite a few models that have the same exact memory feature screen in here. This is not a bad, bad little typewriter. Alright, turn this back to type mode. And you can just type away. Alright, Phoenix Typewriter, good day.